football players have a variety of options when they start playing. Mathieu Flamini retired from professional football in 2019. The Frenchman helped co-found GF Biochemicals, where the name GF originates with Pascal Granata while he was still a professional player, and it's clearly paying off now. Let's take a look at Flamini's success from a soccer player to an entrepreneur. Welcome to our channel, Athletic Prime Stars, your one-stop shop information about sportsmen and sports celebrities. In this video, we'll examine Matthew Flamini's transition from an athlete to a businessman. So let's get started without any further ado. French environmental entrepreneur and former professional footballer Mathieu Pierre Flamini was born on March 7th of 1984. He was a midfielder who played for the teams Marseille of France, Arsenal of England, Crystal Palace of England, Milan of Italy, and Getafe of Spain. He received three caps for the France national team at the international level. Co-founding with Flamini, GF Biochemicals became the first business in the world to be able to mass-produce levolinic acid. Flamini, a Marseille native, played in his hometown professional club's youth squad. On December 20th of 2003, he made his senior squad debut in a 1-0 win over Toulouse. He played 14 times for the team and made an impression on the team as a diligent midfielder. However, it was his UEFA Cup efforts for Marseille, particularly the 2-0 semi-final triumph against Newcastle United, that first attracted the attention of the footballing community. Flamini is a great player with a fantastic work rate, good ball-winning ability, and great mentality. According to Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger, he's a combative, energetic, tactically astute, and tenacious midfielder. He can play anywhere across midfield in the center as a box-to-box -box or defensive midfielder, or on either flank as a cover at full back. GF Biochemicals, a top manufacturer of levolinic acid and its derivatives, has Flamani as a partner. According to him, we founded GF Biochemicals with the ambition of finding sustainable alternatives to oil-based products. Levolinic acid can be utilized in plastics, solvents, fuels, and pharmaceutical businesses. The U.S. Department of Energy has named levolinic acid as one of the 12 compounds that can assist in a greener planet. Hey guys, it's not just about Matthew Flamini. The best player Mesut Ozil is still moving forward. Why don't you click that bell icon and the subscribe button for instant updates. Former Arsenal player Ozil is creating an unbelievable economic empire that belongs just straight in a James Bond movie. The German World Cup champion will soon introduce his own footwear line as the first professional player. He's the leader of his M10 streetwear company and esports squad, and holds stocks in both a Mexican football team and a cosmetics company. In addition, Ozil has licensing agreements with Sock Manufacturing, owns a chain of coffee shops, and now, he's ready to launch his own currency, which is sure to impress business titans like Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson, and Alan Sugar. However, it was a meeting with James Bond that provided him with a chance to take on sportswear behemoths Nike, Adidas, and Puma, which might cause havoc with their share of the lucrative leisure wear market. Coming back to Flamini, he progressed through the Marseille youth, making his debut in the first squad in 2003-4 and participating in that year's UEFA Cup final. Arsene Wegner took notice of this, and Arsenal swooped in to sign Flamini to his first professional contract, angering the then-OM manager Jose Arnigo. This is a huge betrayal. He made effective use of me. He passing on our pro contract is advantageous financially. His athletic defense that he was worried about playing less no longer holds water, declared Anigo. I'll never look at things the same way again. Anigo's predictions that Flamini would find it difficult to crack the gun as his starting lineup were initially untrue, as, after a season of adjusting, he was essential to the Arsenal 2005-06 season, appearing in 49 games across all competitions as they advanced to the Champions League final. Flamini, though, never quite mastered the midfield anchor position that his vigor, brains, and talent that should have made him perfect for. Instead, his positional versatility, coupled with his excellent work ethic and sense of teamwork, made him into a utility player. There were flashes of brilliance, such as his long-range goal against Newcastle in January 2008, which was selected as one of the 50 best Arsenal goals ever. But both the player and the fans found them to be depressingly brief. At the conclusion of his four-year contract, Flamini made the decision to leave. He signed with Milan, where he continued to be a jack-of-all-trades, initially playing at right-back before switching to midfield. 
Prior to suffering a knee injury that summer that kept him out for practically the next of the whole season, he assisted Milan in winning the 2010-11 Scudetto, which is currently their last Serie A championship. After being let go by Milan in 2013, he first visited Arsenal to practice and keep healthy before becoming a regular member. He was a member of the teams that won back-to-back -back FA Cups in 2014 and 15, but he didn't play in either game just as he hadn't for the Gunners' previous victory in 2005. After stints with the Getafe and Crystal Palace, Flamini retired from professional football and moved to full-time into his second career that appears to be more fulfilling than his first. It's remarkable that Flamini never lost a Premier League match at home for Arsenal, though. In 2008, while still playing football, Flamini co-founded GF Biochemicals, the first business in the world to mass-produce levolinic acid, which is thought to have a significant role to play in the creation of biofuels that are more environmentally friendly. Flamini is a true businessman, whose projected net worth of 20 million euros, or 21.7 million dollars, dwarfs that of any Premier League football player. Flamini told The Guardian in August of 2020, Growing up near the sea, I could witness the impact of plastics in the water, on the beach, from a very early age. I was highly alert and intrigued about everything. If I do anything else in the future besides playing football, I want it to be about sustainability, I used to tell myself. In the words of Flamini, we are complementary to the oil industry. He won't reveal how much it costs to produce, but he does acknowledge that there is danger involved. He thinks playing football has prepared him for this. I took a lot of risk when I started my football career, but I believe that there is no successful story if at one point you didn't take any risk, he claims. He has gained managerial skills from the legendary Arsenal manager Arsene Wegner, who twice in his career signed the midfielder to his team. However, he acknowledges that managing his temper in his new profession will be a little simpler than on the football ground. An active central midfielder, he angered some Arsenal supporters earlier this season when, just 47 seconds after coming on as a replacement, he conceded a penalty against Barcelona. When you enter a football pitch, there's passion, there's adrenaline, he claims. Off the pitch, I'm pretty composed, but when I'm on the pitch, I change. I occasionally become aggressive, but in a good way. You know, it's kind of transcendent. We are the gladiators of our day, in my opinion. It's either him or you when you're on the pitch for confronting your opponent, and I would choose him over myself. Flamini said that he wants to inject some of that competitive spirit into the meeting space. All of it for me is adrenaline when I think about when we started the company and now see that we also have locations in Holland and America. I've been motivated to keep going and advance by stimulus. Perhaps even less concerned in climate change than business is the average footballer. Flamini acknowledges that his devotion is peculiar, even if occasionally his way of life more closely resembles that of a player than a green businessman. So there you have it for today. How do you feel about the businessman Matthew Flamini? Is he ready yet for a full-time role in the business world? Enter your comments with your ideas and replies in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to click the like and the share buttons, and soon we'll be back with even more amazing material.